you'll see a sign that says, don't mess with. And Mr. Obama could wrap his hands around that message as I say, Mr. Obama, don't mess with our health care. Don't mess with our schools. Don't mess with our ranches, our farms, our businesses or our banks. Don't mess with our families. And don't mess with Texas sovereignty. Mr. Obama, keep your hands off Texas. But Mr. Obama is here. He was in town with his hand out, trying to raise money to ensure that congressmen like Lloyd Doggett get re-elected. Mr. Uh, the President and Mr. Doggett are multi-millionaires. I'm not sure why they need to raise money. I think they could campaign, run, a camp, run, run multiple campaigns right out of their pocket. Mr. Mr. Obama, when he was running, campaigned on promising, yes, we can. And now that they're in office, yes, they are. Mr. Obama and the Liberal Congress are destroying our economy. And in, in the President's usual apologetic posture, he tells world leaders, we can't be the engine that drives the global economy. And I say, why? Yes, we can. I say, why? Why can't America still be the engine that drives our global economy? We are capable of restoring the, the integrity of the American spirit. We have the drive and determination that can put a man on the moon and can make an emergency room doctor decide to run for the United States Congress. I believe, I believe that our economy can be strong, but policies and principles have to change, and that starts on November the 2nd. My opponent for the United States Congress has been a been one of President Obama's greatest supporters. They have walked hand in hand on socialistic policies. Republican Doggett is a lifelong politician who will leave Washington, D.C., a richer area, and the United States as a whole, a poorer area. But Mr. Obama and all the Liberal Congress have had a hand in usurping our freedoms and threatening our way of life. Is that right? There have been bailouts, buyouts, and now a sellout. My opponent, Mr. Doggett, has even sunk. He's even sunk so low as to write special rules into federal legislation, singling out Texas and dictating how our elected state leaders must allocate our own educational monies. This, this brazen act could cost Texas school children and our Texas schools over $800 million. And that's one of our own Texas United States congressmen that has done this. And you know what I say? I say that enough is enough. We cannot take two more years of Speaker Pelosi and Representative Doggett, right? Are you all aware we actually have one? Kay Granger is the only United States Republican Texas woman in the, in the House of Representatives. The only one. And right now, I am absolutely the only Republican woman running for the United States House in Texas, and I need your support. I need you to visit me. You've got to visit my website. But you know what? I need you to visit our Facebook. We need the social networking. I need a bumper sticker on your car. I need you to tell your neighbors. I need you to get 10 people to make sure they're going to go and vote. 
I guess the last thing I would say about Mr. Obama is that if Mr. Obama wants his hands on something, let him wrap his hands around policies that will rebuild our economy and create private sector jobs. But 